pretty good film, that. That was Rocky II, released in 1979. And obviously, Rocky and Apollo Creed fought twice in the ring for the heavyweight championship. Apollo Creed then went on to fight Ivan Drago in Rocky IV, released in 1985, and he got killed in the ring. Now, um, there is a, they, they never really kind of followed that up in terms of the, the Creed family. Why would they? He wasn't the main feature of the films. Um, but there is this film that's coming out anyway in November time, and it's called Creed. Now, this is essentially Rocky Seven. But in a lot of ways it's not, because it's not a Rocky film as such. It's got Rocky in it, he does appear uh, in, a, in a kind of supporting role, from what I understand, anyway. Uh, but the trailer came out for this this morning, and it does look pretty good. So if you haven't heard about it, check that out. Now, the, the, the main premise of the film, like I say, is about Creed's son, who is a boxer. Rocky's going to train him. Uh, he's going to, you know, I don't know, be his manager and kind of inspire him and all that kind of stuff. Tell him about his dad. Because this guy in the new film never actually got to meet his dad. He, he was born shortly after his dad died. So uh, it's going to be kind of interesting to see. But this is an early trailer. It doesn't really give us too much away in terms of like motivation and the actual story itself, other than he's a boxer and he, you know, Rocky kind of trains him. A lot of people are kind of concerned, thinking, oh, this is going to be like Rocky V. It's going to be rubbish. I don't think that's going to be the case at all. I think the problem with Rocky V was that, obviously, we wanted to see Rocky get in the ring and stuff. Like he's the, the, the character we follow. That's not going to be the problem here, because this is the Creed film, so we are going to follow him. And if it does follow that same format of, you know, he steps in the ring, the main character, he can do that. It's Creed now, so we'd have to kind of be ridiculous. A lot of people kind of slated the last Rocky film, Rocky Balboa, saying, oh, he was too old, it was ridiculous. That was kind of the point of the film. If you didn't like it for that reason, you didn't get the film. Uh, it was it was ridiculous, don't get me wrong, but that's not a reason to dislike it, I don't think. It was a good film anyway. Um, so, the, anyway, like I said, the, the trailer, just to kind of review that, um, had some really great moments in it. I love some, kind of, some of the throwbacks to the, the previous films, particularly the early ones with Apollo Creed in it, where he refers to, you know... Um, you know, my dad and you uh, had two fights, but I heard of a third fight as well that took place behind closed doors kind of thing. Um, that I thought that was pretty cool kind of touch to it. It just kind of, you know, reminds you what world it's set in. Because when you watch this trailer, it's easy to kind of, particularly the first part of the trailer up till Rocky appears, it's easy to think it's just any other boxing film. And that's something that they could kind of... Unless the film's really great, it's all right. If they don't play that aspect up too much, it might not be well received. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, it's early days. I'm just kind of saying hypothetically. Uh, I have nothing to. Su there's nothing to suggest that's going to be the case. So that's kind of my my thoughts on it. Anyway, um, the actual the the actor that's in it is Michael B. Jordan. Not to be confused with Michael Jordan, the basket player. Uh, Michael B. Jordan, supposed to be quite a good actor. I say supposed to be. I've never seen him in anything myself, but from what I understand, a lot of people that I know have, and they've all said he's quite good. He is in the upcoming Fantastic Four film, which is coming out in August, I think. He's playing the Human Torch. Not that that's an endorsement. I don't know if that film is going to be any good or not, but that's just kind of a bit trivia for you there. Um, that's my review of the trailer, anyway. Now, I was going to do a Rocky retrospective a while ago, but um, just hang around to it. I was going to mention the Blu-ray box set of the original six films, uh, kind of a bit of a warning for you as well about that. In fact, I'll, I'll throw that out now. If you're going to upgrade, because I, I mean, I owned these films on having taped them off TV to then buying the tapes in the mid 90s to then upgrading to DVD. And then there were other DVDs that came out uh, that were slightly better. And then there's Blu ray that's come out as well. So I've owned like five, or six, well, four or five copies of these pretty much over the years. Um, and I recently upgraded about six months ago to Blu-ray. If you're going to do the same, make sure this is the box that you get. It's, make note here as well, it's called the Heavyweight Collection. There is another one, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's got Rocky and he's wearing a hat. If you're going to do this, don't get that box set, get this one. Because this is the one with all the extras on. That other one I believe doesn't have quite as many extras. Uh, and I will also say as well, it is, it is worth upgrading as well if, if you're into like quality because Particularly the first film, I didn't think that this first film could ever be uh, presented in as good quality. I thought it's an old film, it was low budget, it's always going to look that way. Not the case. Get this and you will see the difference. I'm pretty much going to leave it there anyway. Uh, one last thing, I just want to call out this douchebag at Warner Brothers called Michael Bent Cover. Uh, yesterday some uh, photograph leaked, uh, well it sort of leaked, it was on the official uh, Celeste Stallone Facebook page, anyway the Italian one. And uh, it was a, a still from the new Creed trailer. 
In fact, here is the picture now. In fact, no, I better take it down before I get in trouble. And I posted this on Instagram, embedded it in the website of brandnextreviews.com. Within hours, this douchebag at Warner Brothers called Michael Bentcover sent a threatening email to my uh, server uh, provider in America. And they weren't amused by it either. Uh, they said, seriously, you know, um, I hope this guy pisses off. Uh, well, that's, you know, in, in kind of loose, loose terms there. But, uh, yeah, basically, this guy uh, needs to seriously get a get a proper job. I mean, do, do people pay you to do this? Seriously? Why did this picture... What the hell? It didn't take revenue away from you at all. If anything, it, it kind of advertises your film. Um, it didn't take anything away. It was a still. It wasn't like the, the actual trailer had leaked or anything like that. Seriously, man, what the hell is your problem? Michael Bentcover, screw you. Anyway, I don't usually do that on YouTube, but I thought I would throw that out there because it was a bit kind of uh, pathetic. So I'm going to leave it there anyway, so we'll, we'll be following the Creed... Uh, film and doing a review of it when it comes out no doubt and, f and also posting further uh, trailers and stuff um, as, as and when these come out for this film so if you're interested in this and other following news stories there's a video coming up showing how you can follow us at Brand X Reviews because we're on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that kind of stuff so for now I'm going to leave it there keep keep watching and there's, uh, there's some information coming up on how to follow us. Thank you very much for watching Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Just so you know, for more news, reviews and retrospectives, you can like our page on Facebook, simply called Brand X Reviews. But as well as that, you can also subscribe to us on YouTube via this video. You can also bookmark our website, which is brandxreviews.com, which is pretty much a central hub for everything that I've just mentioned. So check that out and we will see you next time. Thank you very much.